pimp cake. I was gonna like do Nigella boob, but I'm not really blessed in that area, so this would have to do. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Candice. I have a little cake thing called Cake by Candy. I'm a newish mum. My daughter's six months old, and you can have fun and make really great fattening sweet treats for people who don't give a shit about being on a diet. People would say that I've lived a lot of lives. I had a really popular sex blog before my daughter was born. I was also a madam of sorts. For a period of time, I ran an escort agency, but now I'm a mum. Not that that's like boring, but it's just not the same. Today we are making my personal bestseller, which is like bachelorette hen night cupcakes. So it's just a simple cupcake, vanilla frosting, and then we're gonna make a fondant dick to go on top. The first thing you want to do is preheat the oven to about 180. I'm gonna say about a lot because I don't really follow rules. So we've got flour, butter, eggs. Butter you're gonna need about eight ounces and it should always be equal sugar to equal butter. I want each of my cakes to look like a beautiful tranny. I'm very into tranny, by the way. Look at my face. There's a lot going on here. You want the sugar and the butter to combine until it looks quite fluffy. The next thing we're gonna add is the eggs. Now, any like fucking Martha Stewart book is gonna tell you add the eggs one by one. I don't have time for that. I've got a six month old kid. Don't do all that one by one shit, just lob in. I promise you it will seem to curdle, but once you add your flour in, it will even everything out. Unlike real dicks, these cakes cannot be beaten too hard, so do not fear, beat away. The mixture's actually curdled. Like I already said, I'm not too worried about this because I'm about to add what I consider the Viagra of the cake world, which is self-raising flour. About 10 to 12 ounces is where you want to be. Now this is the point where all you fatties can just lick this shit off. And then you're gonna get this into the muffin case like so. We're gonna put these in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. You want them a more light golden tan. Think more J.Lo, less Jennifer Hudson in skin tone once they come out of the oven. Now we're gonna get on with the messier part of this production, which is making your buttercream. One part butter to two part icing sugar. Do you know what? I will go as far to say this part, you can buy this shit ready made at the supermarket. You do not have to go through all of this. Now guys, we are going to make the fondant willies. I know the excitement, I can't bear it. Remember at school you had like Play-Doh or plasticine that you can build stuff out of? This is the sugar version, so this is totally edible. I've already pre-coloured mine. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> to do like white man willy pink. <laughs> I don't know if I succeeded, but you get the point. As this is my best seller, I'm usually doing this for hen nights of white women. So sometimes I might throw a black dick in there just for fun, but I usually stick to flesh tone to show that like I'm on their level. I'm not trying to intimidate anyone. This is not like anaconda season or anything. That's not true, actually. That is not true. I've met some white guys who are packing. But to make the actual penis, we want like a cylinder cone because it's flaccid. We're not making these erect. That would be gross. And hard to swallow, one would assume. Take a tiny piece and lob that on top. Take your knife or whatever you're using at home and just score like so. Now the last thing, you've got to add a vein because what you don't want to happen is that for it to look fake. No one's penis is perfect, and if you think yours is, we already have a problem, my dear. And voila, a fondant penis. Totally edible, and much safer than snacking on a real one, I can assure you. So good, no, so good. Actually, fuck what I said, don't use store-bought. This is so much better. <laughs> You're going to need a piping bag, and just like, slather it on and then squeeze all the way down a bit like you would if you were you know i'm actually gonna join a convent after this i swear to actual god now just move round 
and then just finish at the top with a gentle star shape. There are a lot of balls. There are silver balls, there are gold balls, there are sprinkles, and my favourite thing which is edible glitter. Now I'm actually looking at this penis. <laughs> it looks too big for these, but sometimes a penis is too big. What can you do? We're still going to try and make it work. Place it on the top of the cake and just shove the ball on. So there you have it. That is the way to make a penis cupcake. And in my opinion, you can use this in many ways for a hen night, a girl's night in, a gay night in. Those are my favorite nights in, by the way. Or even if your uncle's found out he's got testicular cancer, this is a way to make life fun, make it interesting, and most importantly, make it sweet.